For the guys who want to know how stuff works, science and technology in the sport you love, this is Punk Works. Hey guys, uh, this is Cocker Punk here. Uh, I've got my friend Rick, and uh, Julius is behind the, behind the camera there. Uh, he doesn't want to show himself, it turns out. <laughs> uh, we're here doing the flask control board chrono test. So we've got that whole huge kit of, uh, of flask barrels and flask fronts, and we're shooting them on Bryce's sniper here, um, which is one of the most consistent uh, snipers I think I've ever seen. Um, just got a Revy here to make for convenient feeding, and we're rocking a Ninja 6845 because they're really consistent. Um, got the chrono up a little ways, so that way I can angle up when I shoot. Um, and we don't get any rollouts because it's a close bolt gun. So, and I'm pretty much just sitting here at the laptop and the chrono, uh, recording numbers. Yep, and uh, Julius is doing miscellaneous tasks, including getting me a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, big thanks oh, to you guys. And um, after this, you'll just see us, us uh, doing, a, doing a barrel for you, and check out the data table. Oh, that's fun. Is that it? Go on. There you go. I'm going to dump one, then we'll go. Um, hey guys, uh, just wanted to explain the reason why we uh, shot with the autococker and then we also shot them with Julius's very nice Ego 9. Um, the reason why we shot the autococker or the sniper for most of the uh, stuff is because during the Tech PB um, efficiency test, we looked at the difference between how guns cycle with paint and without paint. And um, we found that the autococker and the sniper both are uh, almost shoot identical with paint and without paint. And that that's because the back pressure caused by propelling the paintball um, blows against the bolt, but the bolt isn't linked to the ram in any way or the hammer in any way. So that gun is very independent, and that's the reason why we used it for most of our testing. However, most of us don't shoot snipers or um, anything like that. So we've got Julius's very nice Ego 9 here, um, which obviously the bolt is connected to the hammer in this gun. So there is going to be some amount of blowback caused by the paintball. Now, the, the question is whether overboring versus underboring um, causes the mechanical dwell to change just slightly. And that's why we've got this gun, to make sure any trends that we see with the autococker are also true of this gun. Uh, so thanks.